Are you listening? Welcome to the Nerf Report. My name is Bryant. And for today's show, just one sec, I gotta make sure I've still got it. Me, 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 me. Resident Evil. Yesterday, Capcom and the team behind Resident Evil held a Resident Evil showcase in which they dropped a ton of Resident Evil goodness, including a brand new trailer, new gameplay footage, a brand new demo, and a new VR game. So I figured it's Friday. Let's recap yesterday's showcase and talk about what I am most excited about. First up, I mean, let's break down that awesome brand new trailer for Resident Evil Village which gives us a closer look at the characters and monsters that Ethan Winters will have to go up against. And this trailer had everything a horror fan could want. Giant vampire women, lichen fight clubs, weird wall climbing mole people, cultists, trolls, giant fish creatures, and of course, the return of Chris Redfield. And I, for one, cannot wait to play this game. And luckily, we won't have to wait much longer to get our first taste of Resident Evil Village, as an upcoming 60-minute Resident Evil Village demo will be arriving on PlayStation, Xbox, Steam, and Google Stadia on May 1st. While playing the demo, players can explore both the castle and village areas of the game. But don't forget, you only have one hour to play. And honestly, that might be the most ruthless part of this whole experience. That's like taking a kid to Disney and being and like, okay kids, you only have 60 minutes to ride the rides and then we're out of here. However, PlayStation owners will get early access to both the village and castle demo, with the castle demo going live on April 17th and the village demo going live on April 24th. Now, Resident Evil Village alone is going to be jam-packed with content when it launches on May 7th. But thanks to the showcase, we found out that there will also be a brand new mode called Mercenaries. That's right, Resident Evil Village Mercenary Mode will require players to enter certain sections of the map and eliminate a specific amount of enemies before your time runs out. However, unlike previous versions of Mercenaries, Village's Mercenary Mode will feature new shops to buy and customize weapons that will assist you in each round, along with power-ups and upgrades being available throughout the map that allow you to do various things like increase your movement speed, increase your defense, or or even improve the damage your guns do to enemies. Yeah, but where's the upgrade to hang out with the giant vampire woman? Sign me up for that. And if that's not cool enough for you, we've got plenty more announcements to talk about, like Resident Evil about to invade Oculus. Yes, you heard that right. During the Resident Evil showcase, it was announced that Resident Evil 4 VR will be coming to Oculus. The entire game has been remade from the ground up to be optimized for virtual reality. And if you've never played Resident Evil 4, let me tell you, it is easily in contention for the best Resident Evil game of all time. You play as Leon, who is sent out to rescue the president's daughter from a creepy European village filled with nothing but nightmares. Now, Resident Evil also gave us an update on the upcoming Netflix series, Infinite Darkness, which will air in July. But the final video game update that we got was that the world of Resident Evil will be entering the Dead by Daylight universe this June. And overall, I, I left extremely hyped uh, following all of these announcements. I mean, my Oculus Quest 2 just showed up today, so I cannot wait to get to play Resident Evil 4 in VR. And Resident Evil Village looks so sick. I legit will be playing that the entire day that it launches, but where do you all fall with these announcements? I mean, did anything stand out more than others? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hey, thanks again for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw and you wanna see more content just like it, which who wouldn't, uh, hit the subscribe button right there. And while you're down there, hit the like button. Maybe even consider becoming a Nerf Report best friend, just like the people listed down below did. In fact, don't you want to see your name there? I know I do.